Pineapple upside down cake has been around probably since the 1920s. Originally, people made cakes in pans because that's all they had, and they were called skillet cakes. They used skillets just like this, which is exactly what my mother used to use to make a pineapple upside down cake. But then in the 20s, they actually started out by using prunes, not by using pineapple, because I guess they really didn't have it at that point. We're not gonna do it the traditional way. There's other ways to do it. I wanna make individual ones. Now I have this pan, which is really cool, because it looks like little pineapples, and you put the pineapple ring and the cherry in the middle and the cake goes on top. And you can see I've used this pan a lot. But you don't have one of those pans probably, but I know something that you do. You must have a muffin pan. Now this is a larger than a cupcake pan because of the rings of the uh, pineapple. Now if all you have is a cupcake pan, you can still make these. You'll just have to cut your pineapple and it won't look quite as pretty. But what we're going to do is start by making the topping. So I have a warm pan, and I'm going to put in one stick of butter, and I'm going to let that melt. And while that's melting, I'll prepare the pan. I'm going to spray this with a non-stick cooking spray. Let's set that aside. I have six pineapple slices. Now the pineapple slices, I got them in a can. I took them out of the can, I drained them. Then I put them on paper towels to dry them off because you don't want them too wet because then you're, it, it'll influence your cake and you don't want to do that. I did the same thing with six maraschino cherries. Oops, I almost dropped them. Now, to this butter, I'm going to add, as soon as it melts, a half a cup of light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar here too. It really um, doesn't matter that much. In goes the half a cup of light brown sugar. And I'm gonna whisk it around. We're not really cooking this. All we're doing is incorporating the brown sugar with the melted butter to make a glaze. want to get those last pieces of butter fully melted because I have some big chunks in there right now. Really whip them up. I don't know if you've had pineapple upside down cake before, but if you haven't, it's a really old fashioned treat. I'm going to turn this off. We need to divide this mixture evenly between the six cups. I want to give that one more whisk just to really get it mixed up. There we go. That's better. Now we'll divide it. end of that. Then in each one, I'm going to put a pineapple slice. Now this is a non-stick uh, pan and I sprayed it anyway just for insurance purposes. And a cherry in each one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside, clean up our counter, get out our ingredients, and make the cake portion of it. Well, we've got our pan ready with our pineapple and cherries, and now we're going to proceed to make the cake. We're going to take one stick or half a cup of room softened butter, get it all in there, and to that we're going to add three quarters of a cup of regular white sugar. I'm going to add two large eggs, one at a time. 
It's a very easy cake to make and very delicious. Just let that cream a bit. Teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. That makes a big difference. And I have here three tablespoons of very finely ground almonds. I put them in my food processor and just ground them up until they were very fine. Okay. Now, here I have three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour with a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I have three tablespoons of cake flour and this lightens it up a bit. So I'm gonna put the cake flour in first, along with a scant quarter cup of sour cream. Let's get that going first. And then we'll add our three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. My oven is on at 325 degrees. I always like to take my bowl off and give it a good scrape down, right down to the bottom, just to make sure everything is getting mixed up together. I'll add my three quarters of a cup of flour. Get our pan ready. easy. Now we're going to fill up our little cups. You're actually going to have more batter than will go into each one of these cups. You can actually make like I think seven of these. But I'm only going to make six for now. Get a spoon. Just give it a good. You don't want to fill them to the top. You want to fill them so that it comes up about three quarters of the way. You can use a ice cream scoop for these if you want. I just like my big spoon. And then one of my favorite tools, the offset spatula. Just spread it around. And these are going to bake in that 325 degree oven for almost exactly 38 minutes. Again, your oven might differ from mine, and if it does, I would suggest you start looking at these at about 33, 34 minutes, especially if you decide to do these in a regular cupcake mold rather than this mold. You saw my other mold before that looked like pineapples, the individual pineapples. It always takes exactly 38 minutes for those. So into the oven and I'll show you when they come out because you have to unmold them while they're still warm. So into that 325. Here are our mini pineapple upside down cakes out of the oven. I just took them out. They're really hot. I'm going to flip them over. rack out of here. Let's hope they all come out. <sighs> Help that one back out. Oh wow that's warm. And there you go our mini individual pineapple upside down cakes. They look beautiful, they taste good, and I hope you try them.